Hello everyone, welcome to the Amazing World YouTube channel. Ethiopia, where millions of people live, has a very rich and diverse culture. There is no doubt that people all over the world are interested in their unbelievable lifestyles. Because they have 16 or 19 ethnic groups, it is unavoidable according to different tribes and communities in Ethiopia. One of them is the Surma tribe. It is also called the Suri tribe. They live in southwestern Ethiopia. The Mercy tribe are closely related to the Suri tribe and they share a similar culture. Suri tribal women wear lip discs on their lower lips by removing their teeth. In this way, they wear the lip bliss more easily. There are some rumors that women started to wear it to be less attractive to slave traders. And after a long time, this tradition has become their indispensable expression of beauty. You didn't hear it wrong. These lip discs are very attractive for sewer people. The bigger you can wear, the more beautiful you are. The lip disc process begins when a girl is 15 or 16 years old and it soon became linked to fertility and eligibility for marriage. A common thought is that the bigger the plate, the more cattle the woman is worth for her bride price. During special occasions, Suri women wear brightly colored flowers on their heads and paint their faces and bodies. The Suri tribe thinks that hair is dirty, so both males and females keep their hair short. They use razors to constitute patterns and shapes in their hairstyles. The Suri tribe lip discs attract many tourists that are curious about this tradition. Due to the Suri tribe location, they can be visited by tourists easily. That's why Mercy tribe is known the best by visitors, but Suri is less. You can distinguish the Suri tribe by the face painting and flower headdresses they wear on their heads. Women can easily remove their lip discs while eating and drinking. Surrey women don't have to wear lip plates all day long. They choose the time when they want to wear it. In the name of beauty, Surrey women may also have decorative discs in their earlobes. The Surrey people are one of the last tribal groups in Africa, where it is still normal for women to have lip discs. Furthermore, the government has put pressure on stopping this practice as it can lead to serious health problems. But scarification is another practice they do. Women and men have scars on their chest and arms. Especially for men, scarification indicates that they have killed enemies in battle. Tribal life could soon change or disappear with the construction of a road, which may bring technology and more tourists. This could be nice for women who suffer from using lip plates. When it comes to their agricultural activities, they grow crops mainly for their consumption rather than for commercial purposes. Agriculture plays a complementary role in their diet. Besides gathering, hunting and livestock, rearing to sustain their communities. The Surrey people cultivate a few stable crops such as corn, beans and sorghum. The selection of crops is influenced by the local climate soil conditions, and traditional knowledge. Another notable feature of Suri tribe is that they practice slash and burn farming. They clear small plots of land by cutting down vegetation and burning it. The ashes left behind provide nutrients for the soil. After a few years, when the fertility declines, they move to a new plot and repeat the process. Planting is typically done at the onset of the rainy season. Seeds are sown directly in the cleared fields. The Surrey people rely on natural rainfall for watering their crops. The Surrey tribe employs traditional farming techniques, often using hand tools such as hoes and machetes. They have a deep understanding of their local ecosystem and utilize indigenous knowledge in crop selection cultivation, and pest management. Have you ever wondered what food the Suri tribe consumes? 
Actually, there are so many choices. Cattle, agriculture, hunting and gathering, and grains are their nutritional sources. Cattle play a central role in the suriculture. They are highly valued for their milk, blood, and meat. Hunting wild animals such as antelope, buffalo, and occasionally elephants contributes to the Sura tribe's protein intake. They also gather wild fruits, nuts, and honey from the surrounding forest. Their living environment provides them with sustenance and resources for their daily needs. The Surya women often cook a dish called bulla. It is made from sorghum and maize flour. It is cooked by mixing the flour with water. Bulla is usually consumed with milk, butter, or honey, providing a nutritious and filling meal for the tribe. In addition to bulla, the Surya people also consume various vegetables and fruits that they grow in their fields. These include pumpkins, sweet potatoes, onions, tomatoes, and bananas. Vegetables and fruits are often boiled or cooked in stews to accompany the main meal. Surya tribe is semi-nomadic, and their homes are not permanent structures. They move their villages and rebuild their homes periodically, usually in response to changing environmental conditions or to find fresh grazing areas for their livestock. There are a lot of ethnic groups in Africa, and some of them are the most interesting of all, such as Suri tribe. When cultural differences come to mind, there is nothing like Africa. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like and share.